Gaining weight has become a worrisome trend that's impacting countless people all around the world. And along with the increase in weight, unfortunately, comes a rise in health complications. Among these, gallstones are a pretty serious but less talked about issue. This video's purpose is to shed some light on what these are, how they come into being, the possible side effects that might pop up, and the surprising connection between obesity and gallstones. So, here we go. Did you know that gallstones are quite a common health problem worldwide, affecting around 10 to 20% of people? These are particularly common in those carrying extra weight. Now, you might be wondering what exactly gallstones are. So, let's break it down. Imagine small, hard pebbles inside your gallbladder. That's what gallstones are. They're crystal-like formations made from the elements in your bile, which can vary in size. Some are as tiny as a grain of sand, while others become as big as a golf ball. The gallbladder is a small, pear-shaped organ tucked under your liver. Its job is to store bile, a fluid your liver produces that helps digest fatty foods. But when the balance of substances that make up bile is disrupted, gallstones start to form. This whole process is known in the medical world as cholelithiasis. Gallstones can be mainly categorized into two types, cholesterol stones and pigment stones. Cholesterol stones, as you might guess, are made mostly of hardened cholesterol and are the most common type. On the other hand, pigment stones are made primarily from bilirubin. Now, you might be curious, what causes gallstones? Several factors can contribute to gallstone formation. One can be your liver secreting more cholesterol than your bile can dissolve, resulting in excess cholesterol. This excessive cholesterol can then form into crystals and eventually stones. Another factor could be the overproduction of bilirubin, mainly due to certain conditions like liver cirrhosis and specific blood disorders. This excess bilirubin can also contribute to gallstone formation. Lastly, if your gallbladder doesn't empty out fully or frequently enough, the bile might become highly concentrated, which, again, can lead to gallstones. People have gallstones without realizing it, mainly because they often don't cause any noticeable symptoms. But, if you've ever experienced a gallstone getting stuck in a duct, leading to a blockage, you know it's not a walk in the park. First, you might feel a sudden and intensifying pain in the upper right side of your stomach, almost as if someone or something is applying pressure. Then, there's this discomfort, a back pain, that you could feel between your shoulder blades. And then, quite unexpectedly, the pain might travel to your right shoulder. Yes, your right shoulder. Not to mention, you could also start feeling nauseous or may even start throwing up. But what's worrying is that these aren't just ordinary symptoms. They're pointers to more serious gallstone-related problems waiting down the line. We're talking about complications like cholecystitis, a fancy term for a swollen gallbladder, or cholecholithiasis, which is the blockage of your bile duct. And then there's pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas. If that weren't enough, in more prolonged cases, the threat of gallbladder cancer looms large. It's not to alarm you but to keep you informed because the more you know, the better prepared you are. So, let's talk about the connection between obesity and gallstones. When a person is overweight, the cholesterol level in their bile tends to rise, potentially forming cholesterol stones. In addition, obesity can slow down the gallbladder's movement, causing it not to empty completely, which escalates the risk of stone creation. Now, on to the heart of the matter. Adipose tissue, another name for body fat, does more than just store excess energy. Believe it or not, it's an active part of our metabolic process, generating hormones and chemicals that can kindle inflammation and tweak how our body processes food and energy. These alterations can increase the probability of gallstones for those carrying excess weight. On top of this, studies reveal that overweight folks often have more cholesterol in their bile, which, as we've already noted, is a lead player in forming cholesterol stones. So, where does that leave us? Well, managing your weight becomes a key strategy in warding off gallstones. A gentle weight loss, achieved through a well-rounded diet and regular exercise, can lower the chances of gallstones cropping up. But remember, quick, drastic weight loss is not the answer. It can actually hike up the risk of gallstones by signaling the liver to dump more cholesterol into the bile. Now, if we talk about the complications, obesity can make them even more challenging to manage. For example, in the case of cholecholithiasis, an obstructed bile duct could be harder to detect in someone overweight due to their larger body size. Similarly, obese individuals may experience more severe symptoms and complications like inflammation or infection of the gallbladder. This makes it all the more important for those struggling with obesity to take steps towards improving their gallbladder health. Furthermore, maintaining a healthy weight also reduces the risk of other chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease, which have been linked to gallstones as well. So not only does managing your weight protect your gallbladder health, 
but it also promotes overall well-being. The direct relationship between obesity and gallbladder disease is quite strong, which means that keeping your weight in check is one of the prime methods to ward off such an ailment. So, let's explore some ways you can dodge this health bullet. First and foremost, nourishing yourself with a balanced diet is key. Aim to cut down on saturated fats, found plentifully in red meat, butter, and processed foods. These can cause an unwanted surge in your cholesterol levels. On the flip side, try incorporating more fiber-rich foods into your meals, like fruits, veggies, whole grains, and legumes. These foods aren't just good for your overall digestion, but they can also help prevent the formation of gallstones. When it comes to shedding weight, remember that slow and steady wins the race. A drastic diet isn't the way to go. Instead, focus on losing 1 to 2 pounds per week. This is a safe, healthy, and effective weight loss strategy. Of course, regular physical activity is also key. Get into the habit of moving your body regularly, whether that's through walking, swimming, biking, or any other form of exercise. Not only does regular exercise support a healthy weight, but it also improves insulin sensitivity and aids in keeping your gallbladder functioning properly. In some cases, medical intervention may be necessary. Your doctor might suggest medications to help dissolve gallstones or control cholesterol levels. Usually, these treatments are saved for those not suited for surgery or those with small, non-calcified stones. In severe cases where gallstones cause major symptoms or complications, you may need to consider surgical intervention. The gallbladder might need to be surgically removed in a procedure called a cholecystectomy. Don't worry, this is a common and generally safe procedure that can be done laparoscopically, which means a faster recovery time. That's a wrap. We hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on health and wellness. Remember, small lifestyle changes can make a big difference in reducing your risk of developing cancer. Take care of yourself and stay healthy.